Really, this is the system I frequently take out with me on the go. I wanted a replacement for emulation on my phone because of the lack of tactility, and this was it. I also don't usually want to take out my Game Boy or my 3DS or PS Vita because they're in too nice of condition. The RG35XX is small enough to where I can fit the whole carrying case in my pocket, if I'm wearing something other than jeans of course, and cheap enough to where I don't have to care about it. Besides, they're going to make very similar systems forever, and they're only going to get better unlike original hardware where it's limited. Despite my own liking for this system on the go to supplement my physical collection, this does have some shortcomings. For one thing, the included SD card of course. I would rather it not come with one for a cheaper price. For another thing, the D-pad. Most games are perfectly fine but specifically fighting games and other games that require quarter circle forward inputs and such are bad. Shockingly bad. I've played on a lot of different controllers and handhelds, but I've never seen a D-pad only register QCF2 player side. I bought this to play my Tetris games on the go, but it would have been nice to play fighting games as well. Really, the D-pad is my only serious complaint, and I'm going to try to mod my own D-pad into the system and see if I can't fix my issue, so I'll give this 5 out of 5.